You mentioned that you had a six month old little girl who's in the process of transitioning from three naps to two. And this is a, a normal time for this to happen because um, younger babies tend to sleep after feedings and may take several naps during the day. And then they start to develop more of a nap routine, usually around six months. And between six months and a year, it's typical to have a baby take a nap in the morning and in the afternoon. But it sounds like this is interfering with her happiness because by the time nighttime comes, she's just so tired and ready to go to bed. Um, if you squish in a third nap, then she doesn't want to go to bed. So what do you do? Really, it all comes down to finding a schedule that works for you and her. What's right for her may not be right for another baby. So um, I do suggest trying to take her down to two naps, two longer naps. And in order to make it work with bedtime, you may have to adjust her waking time and her bedtime and her nap time. Do this by, by changing things in, in 15 minute increments at a time. So if her normal bedtime is 8.30 and she's barely making it to that point, then maybe try putting her to bed at 8.15. And then if that's still a little bit too late because she's cranky by bedtime, try 8 o'clock um, if that works for your schedule. If not, then maybe you can adjust things in the day so that she's napping a little bit later and then going to bed a little bit later. Some families are night owls and they don't mind if their kids are up later. Other families put their kids to bed earlier and that works for them because they're early risers. Overall, babies that are six months old are usually sleeping 11 to 13 hours, and most of this is at night, and it's broken up into two naps during the day, and these naps could be as short as a half hour or as long as two hours. Again, it's all about how your child is doing overall. If they're happy and they're healthy and it works for you, then that's great. Some people try to deprive their kids of naps so that they'll go to bed easier um, or just make them nap really early so that they'll be just so exhausted by bedtime that it will go, go faster. But this actually isn't a good idea because children who are wired or over, overly tired don't respond well to that. They just get more frustrated and that causes the parents to become more frustrated. It's just a downward spiral. So keeping your child on a consistent schedule of naps and bedtime and waking time is ideal. You can help your child transition into different nap times by developing a routine that will clue them in to the fact that it's time for sleep. This may be reading a nursery rhyme, a short story, singing a lullaby, or just rocking them for a little bit. Whatever it is, turn down the lights, you know, kind of minimize noise, spend a few minutes with your child, and then put them into their crib awake but drowsy, and then turn around and walk out of the room. And this is this is important because it teaches them the, the skill of self-soothing and going to sleep without help from you, which is something they definitely need from this point forward. Good luck with it. And if you have any other questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.